I popped into Target before work. I was looking actually at the uh, Team Hot Wheels end cap. I was checking out the 20 packs to see what different models were offered. And this was laying on the shelf. So that means they must have new Matchbox. So I head back to the Matchbox section and sure enough, nice little uh, color here of the 1971 Pontiac Firebird Formula. Nice decorations on this one. Go ahead and open it up. Right now it's kind of tough to get realistic looking models in the Matchbox, but you'll start seeing uh, more and more uh, coming through the pipes apparently. We'll see. They kind of keep going back and forth. They might still be putting the, uh, a lot of graphics on compared to before, but not quite uh, so colorful. We'll just have to see how that goes. Uh, but also in the lineup was a couple police cars. I definitely was uh, glad to find this one. You got your Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution X police car. Nice uh, blue light bar on top. The graphics on the side, uh, not too bad. You know, make it uh, decorative and interesting. Uh, it's not over the top, and then it's not so plain to where it's like, eh, it's not exciting. So, good enough to uh, make it interesting. Let's go ahead and have him uh, chase the other guy here. Kind of interesting, there's a few Matchbox police cars on the pegs right now. Subaru Impreza police. Very, very cool. We get two police cars at the same time with light bars. Now this one, some people might not like the white tires, but look, it's in the Arctic series. Makes a lot more sense for this guy to be in the lineup with the white tires than that red Corvette. Remember that red Corvette? Uh, I think it was Corvette. Didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. And uh, anyways, I had mentioned about the finding this one laying around on the uh, end cap where the Team Hot Wheels merchandise is. And look at that. Look at that card, man. I don't know if this is an angry stalker or was it out of the case like this? I don't know. I said, I got to save it. Look at that. Poor guy. Oh, I forgot to read the name. Uh-oh, I tore it. BMW. BMW R 1200 RT. Wow, that's quite a name, ain't it? Almost gonna run out of room on the card. I don't know if this guy's gonna stand up. He don't have no wheelie bar. Oh, look at that! He's got a nice fat tire in the back, so it helps him stand up. Yeah, pretty cool model. BMW. I like those. Uh, <clears throat> I like those. Uh, what do they call them? The uh, side bags. I'm not sure what they're actually called. Side saddles. Pretty cool. A lot of metal in this one. Got a metal engine. Apparently a metal. Apparently a metal uh, seat. But the uh, bags. Those those white bags in the back. Those are plastic. It definitely is a far cry better than the Matchbox they had. Uh, in the lineup about 10 years ago. I only found this one in my collection. I don't really collect motorcycles, but this was part of a, a SpongeBob series. I think they came in like a Easter eggs or something. This thing is practically all at low. This is going to be difficult. Practically all plastic. So this BMW is a far cry better than that plastic looking uh, BMX bike. Anyways, very cool to see a new Matchbox hitting the pegs, finally. I'm still looking for that Seagrave. I know I'll find it in due time. If not, uh, I think it'll show up in a 10-pack. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.